Good. So, welcome back to the Malvar Project. Uh, welcome. So, today we will be doing the thing that we wanted to do, and this is not what I wanted to do. Why is this like this? Mmm, I pressed a button, didn't I? I pressed a button before I started. Oh, well, you know. Easiest way to solve it, just load it back in. Alright, so, um, today I've been working on the overlay, because, you know, that's a thing that I need to do, but I didn't do it over, uh, I didn't do it too much, because otherwise, uh, you know, we are gonna have a little bit of trouble with doing the Moffa project. So I've been working on it for an hour, and uh, today we're gonna be doing this part. So we're gonna be fixing up uh, the little normal layers, you know, the the first color, and then, you know, go to the second one, then the second one, then the, then the third one, then the fourth one. So, yeah. Uh, let's get started. Um, the first thing I need to do is pick up the color again, because I was working with black back in the other project. And we're going to be looking forward towards um, fixing the parts. So, first thing, first thing we're going to be doing is fixing this to five, if I'm correct. No, that's too little. Uh, we need to go to ten then. Yes, ten is ten is correct. So yeah. Um. I hope you all have been doing, uh, I'm doing actually quite well today. I've been working on, you know, my other project, so that's good. And, uh, chapter 9 has been successfully finished, so that's good. I, uh, I was actually quite, well, I was quite happy how it turned out, so that's good. Uh, the main problem that I, uh, actually figured out was actually, uh, the main problem I figured out was like, did I do the introduction correct? And uh, it turns out it to be not that bad, considering uh, uh, how much time it took. But yeah, I'm very happy upon how it worked out, and uh, I'm trying to do my very best upon getting everything uh, done. So today we're going to be focusing on getting the uh, colors done on this one, and then, you know, and then after the, uh, the, the not not that one up, uh, so we're gonna get the colors of this color done, and then um, I will be working to tomorrow again on the on the outlines, and then you know in, in the evening I will be working back out. I don't know if I should record those, um, you know, working on the outlines recording, but I think I could. I think I will start on recording them because you know it is always handy dandy to just record those things as well. Even though you know they are not actually a project, but they are you know the things that I need to have to improve you know the streams. Uh, so far you know so far I'm actually quite far with the uh, with with how I need to stream. So I have everything now settled to fully transfer to correct streaming so on OBS instead of this pro instead of this software but uh, to make sure that you know I don't no, to make sure that I have the right overlay for OBS I actually don't want to you know I want to do uh, the recording as well on OBS so I need to make sure that I have that thing done as well so there yeah, that's a, a little bit of a too much jibbery talk but I hope you guys get it that I just want to make sure that everything is done or fixed before I transfer fully. So yeah, I will finish this project just using the original uh, streaming software and then next project will be definitely using OBS instead. Also then we will have an overlay instead of, you know, this. So yeah, um, let's talk about what I'm going to be doing with it because, you know, there's not going to be a lot of to see here, it's just, you know, drawing. Just casual little step-by-step -step drawings. Step-by-step -step drawing, anyway. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what I'm going to be planning to do with the overlay is actually making a certain kind of brick wall. Which then, you know, um, within the brick wall is going to be this. 
So this picture is going to be like in the brick wall itself. Um, then on the sides of the brick wall, I am still thinking about doing something like you know uh, what they did with the pyramids on the inside, uh, hieroglyphs. There you go. So something like that I want to do. Something like that would be a cool thing to have. So yeah, um, that's a thing that I might be able to do, or I will be doing it like I did with one of my earlier draw drawings back in the day when, you know, I did it with pen and paper. Um, it's, uh, a, it's a, uh, how do you say that? Um, it's a wall with a, it's a wall with a mirror. Alright, so it's a wall with a mi mirror on it. And the mirror actually then represents, you know, what I'm doing. Normally, you know, the mirror uh, represents actually the, the total difference, the uh, total opposite of what you want. But yeah, you know, it's a, it's a like a, it's like a philosopher, uh, philosopher's stone kind of approach, like in what they did with Harry Potter, you know, showing your wildest dreams inside of the mirror. But then, you know, totally not the right way. So yeah, that's uh, that's the idea. At least. So what I'm going to be doing today on the Marfa project, I already explained. I'm just going to do it a little bit more casual, just to say, just to get some bad time by. So because all these feathers, you know, need to be colored in, I didn't find yet uh, the right tool to get, you know, selected everything at once. The only thing I found out was actually a lasso too, but it is does not connect to certain types of layers. If I would be able to do so, then it would have been way more easier than now. Because, you know, I could just select this layer and say, like, select the whole layer, and I work on only that layer. But so far, so, uh, so far, no, um, uh, so far there has been no dice. I also think it is, be I think there is a certain type of, you know, selection. The only downside is that I am not able to get it because of um, the way I I draw. I think that's also a thing. I don't know if it is a thing, but if it is a thing, then yes, it is a thing that might hold me back from doing more, uh, doing quicker drawing. The, the main problem with it is that I, um, because I, because I draw so detailed, the whole damn uh, program, uh, well, the whole damn, you know, uh, selection, gets really messed up because it doesn't know where to start and where to end on the selection part. Oh well, you know, that happens. But so far I'm just using Krita because, you know, Krita is lovely. It's a really nice program. For what I need to do it, for what I need to do it with it, yeah, I can use it. Anyway, um, to go back on what I'm doing here, is actually you know filling up. I'm be I'm not using a bigger brush or a smaller brush because I won't be able to get everything in line, which is a problem. I want to actually make sure that I have everything in line like this. So, um, to uh, tell you guys what I'm uh, what I'm also doing is like you know. I'm trying to plan and get things better planned in. So, like for instance, you know, I want to draw, and I have motivation to draw, which is normally all the time because you know I feel like I want to draw, but I cannot. I need to hold it in because of you know, I will get over exhausted. So what I did today was actually uh, no do uh, do the drawing early on the other project, so on the outlines, and then you know do the parts of, you know, the Malfa project on the later date. That way, you know, I will be able to do it and I have and I have energy over. Because normally I won't be able to do so. Hmm. Uh oh. That's not good. There has been a color here. This still has hold on. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. In, that's not good at all. So, I'm gonna erase that color. There 
go. Now I should be able to do it. Yep. There you go. Clearly, how much? How much of this is? All right. So there's only two parts. Apparently, I have been using the white in certain parts where you know I should not have used it. Oh well, you know it happens. It happens. It happens. It happens. So. Good to know that we are now discovering it instead of, you know, realizing it a little bit too late. And I need to make sure that I have this on the right color so that I can draw properly. So I need to draw. I need to remove this. This is so hard to do. Alright, now we've done that. Let me get this back in all line right now. Oh, my bad. Alright. I think that's good. Now I only need to get the Light the uh, light brush. There you go. What I just did was actually fixing the uh, uh, blackness in the in the outlines, which you know you don't want to have all that blackness in your in your outlines because otherwise it will be ruined really damn quickly. So now you can just you know color things up mm, really easy. Really really good really I thought I trusted you but no I cannot be you cannot be trusted. There you go. Fix that problem right over there. Good. Alright fine. That problem is now solved. Now I need to make sure that I have that in the right there. Yes, excellent. And now I can switch back to them. So yeah, um, the main problem that I'm normally dealing with is, you know, I come across a mistake that I made. Who doesn't? And then, you know, I just recover from it afterwards. I mean, obviously, I'm just trying to do my job here to do, you know, the coloring business. So yeah. Um... Most of the most of the you know feathers that I'm the most of the feathers that I have you know just require steady coloring instead of you know the uh, other things. So um, what I'm gonna be doing now is actually focusing on you know draw uh, coloring between the lines like a real color. Uh, coloring book, you know, drawing between the lines so that you know I don't leave any bad marks behind. Of course, you know, this requires a lot of effort and concentration, but for the rest, doesn't require that much. The hardest part is going to be, you know, do representing again the same um, pattern. Right. I totally forgot about that word. The same pattern as I did with the other wings. So yeah, I'm gonna make the same pattern. Uh, well, I'm gonna make globally the same pattern as the other one. The funny thing is actually that this one doesn't need to have the same pattern because of you know it was actually a second wing, so it should have the same pattern, but it doesn't have to be precisely the same. So we're lucky on that one. Also, this wing is a little bit more tiny on than the big ones. So, by the time we're getting used to all of this, you know, we should be fine. Also, it's quite funny that, you know, I'm just working on this, getting everything done and fixed. So, yeah.
Um, most of it is just you know doing my job here. Yeah. yeah, just coloring the business, and hopefully don't come across any problems later on. The main problem that I'm normally dealing with is the amount of uh, colors. I think that's the word. Yes, that's the word. The amount of colors is always my problem because I cannot dis uh, I cannot distinguish the colors between them. This is why I actually put them on different layers because that way I don't get confused and I will know exactly which color I can use. This way it also is very easy for me to select them in the selection here. So yeah, um, what I'm going to be doing next after this uh, after this color is going to be the second color so it's going to be less uh, I'm going to be highlighting the feathers a little bit it's not going to be a lot because you know it's not a real highlighting but it's like giving already a little bit of a taste I always like to have a little bit of a taste because you know a bland color is not a really nice approach to say the least Anyway, so yeah, uh, hmm, I think that's all that I need to tell, otherwise, I will go into a repeat. So, uh, let's see what kind of what is, what is a good word to find a lot to talk about. A good word, a good word, yes. Hmm. Words. Come on, give me a good word. Ah. A trout? Really? That's a word. Alright, cool. Trout it is. Fine. Trout. Apparently, the word I thought would be not a, would not be a trout, but apparently, you know, there is apparently the word trout. Did you know that trouts, uh, I actually call in my in my country four elves. So uh trouts are actually these uh, fish with their red belly. Um they're like uh I think they're like salmon, I think. Right? They're like four elves, so that they're, they're yeah, they're like salmon, but they're not that big, if I'm correct. They're not the red belly then. Hmm. Now I need to look it up. Uh trouts. 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 Why would I look this up? Because I wanna know. Ah trouts. Ah. A trout is a species of freshwater fish belonging to the Gurana Oh uh, uh, Ah, so that's the difference. I knew that there was something. Ah, trouts. So those are the spotted fish. Ah, the spotted fish, the spotted salt water, uh, salt water fish. Oh well, freshwater fish. It's quite funny that actually the uh, trouts are actually uh, in our country. They are actually special ponds that they are uh, breeding because uh, fishermen here really like to catch them. So yeah, we have like special ponds where you know you can catch them and then you can eat them for dinner if you want to. Otherwise, they will go just to the hotel, and then you know they get their heads bashed in. So yeah, trouts. Quite funny fish actually. They have like one big giant cam, like a big giant uh, fin on the top, and then a small one, and then they have the tail. And on the back side they have like, and on the belly side they also have like steering fins. They have four. No, no, three even. That's a lot. So they have three steering fins and then they have the normal fins to swim with. They're, they can actually grow pretty big. Huh. Nice. So yeah, they can grow pretty big. That's That's good to know. I didn't know that trouts would actually, you know, could grow so big because normally I 
always catch them when I was a child. We always went to these ponds. Um, they were like around half a uh, half a meter. Yeah, half a meter. So yeah, fifty centimeters long. But apparently they can grow like I think one meter. Yes, the biggest is one meter, or around one meter fi uh, five, and then you know you have like twenty-five centimeters is uh, the decent amount, and then fifty meters is like huge to medium size. Nice. Oh, forgot to do. I forgot to do something. Forgot to do. Forgot to remove the bleep loops. Ah, uh, there you go. Easy. Never forget the bleep loops. All right, let's continue. So what I'm doing here is actually quite interesting to see. I'm trying to do my very best upon getting my um, getting my color coloration correct, and uh, you know, I do myself a great effort by you know coloring, and eventually you know everything is going to be going well. You know, it's just you know doing this and then doing it again is the most important thing I need to do. And that's just, you know, color. And then probably I'm gonna be recording tomorrow and then upload it the next the day after that. So yeah, I will be doing I will be doing things two things at once. I think I will be able to do it. Probably able to do it. Definitely maybe able to do it. So that you know I won't get exhausted. I will just do whatever I need to do. I need to be more active. Yes, that's true, but I need to do it with I need to do it with baby steps because I don't want to get over exhausted. I don't want to get overworked, and I want to keep my uh, little tinky tink uh, thinking. So yeah, brain needs to have its own peace and quiet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not good. That's not the right color. You son of a bitch! You got me so there. Anyway, uh, so what I'm trying to do here is actually just getting everything to the right position, and then eventually we know we're gonna get everything done. So coloring is like a real hard thing to do, especially for me because I am like not very good at coloring. But you know, I'll try my very best to do so. And once all the colors are correct, then you know I can then go towards the next part. Anyway, um, so what I'm gonna be doing uh, soon after this, you know, we're almost there, almost, and then we're almost at half an hour in. Good. So as you can see, time flies actually quite well. What does this mean? Well, it means that time that coloring is actually quite time consuming. How could I? How could I fix that? Well, I could fix it up by, you know, increasing the brush size, increasing the uh, less transpir uh, trans uh, transpir transpiration, or whatever that's called. Uh, but I won't. I won't. And why won't I do that? Because I am not going to be doing it because of the uh, problem that I need to do then. I need to do... I cannot afford uh, the... Because I'm like working with these feathers, and you know, this this way of coloring the feathers are actually better flashed out. Otherwise, I would have done more, or I need to do more things with lighting and fixing the background and all that stuff, which I'm not gonna be doing. I'm not gonna be doing a lot. So yeah, um, to fix myself some time, I actually want to do it the slower way. It sounds a little bit backwards, but uh, it will pay off. It will definitely pay off. The main payoff it's going to be giving is actually giving better quality of um, color in the end. Because I don't have a strict color. Also, if I drew, if I draw behind, you know, the drawing. So because I'm drawing over here, you know, this. If I draw. Uh, I cannot. I cannot explain this kind of thing. Yeah, you yeah. Easy. If I draw like this, this won't work. This don't. This one won't work. This is like a brush that doesn't work. 
But if I go for like this brush, this brush actually will work. But you see, sometimes it fixes things. But if I want to then draw over this part, I won't be able to get to it. So I won't have these nice little soft touches that you know are left behind. That's the idea. Probably already explained that like a, a double times already, but eh, you know, better to explain to me myself again. Don't want to forget it. Don't want to forget. It. So, um, the main idea, the main idea here is just you know drawing, drawing the feathers bit by bit. You know, it it doesn't get bored at all. It's not boring business anyway. It's lovely to work on a project like this. Also, what I really like about it is, uh, come on, get, give me, give me, yeah, there you go. You can see already how the shape is gonna be, which is lovely. Ah, there you go, my head just went down, lovely. So yeah, I'm just drawing here, trying to get this thing colored up and then eventually you know once this whole coloring mess is done I can then start with the lighting and then once the lighting is done I can then start with the shading and once the shading is done I can then start with the rest of the parts. The main problem that I'm always facing is that uh, most of the colors that I'm dealing with so most colors that I'm dealing with are like you know if I want to transfer them towards another place like uh, blue to black or whatever or red to green uh, they get a little bit problematic but I fixed that by you know going for the blur tool this causes the you know, this causes the colors to nicely merge with each other without me uh, without me uh, you without me uh, controlling too much of it because apparently you know I cannot use the blur tool on two layers at once. I could find a way to do that, but you know, I have not yet found that. So, yeah. I'm trying to keep myself in mind that this just, you know, works. It just works. It's like magic. It just works. So, yeah. So, what I'm going to be doing after this, you know, after this beautiful, you know, coloring of this part. I will continue with the next part of the wing. So yeah, this wing just takes a lot of time. It's a lot of repetitive work. But if you put your spirit into it, it doesn't seem like a big deal. Also, the more I do, the better it gets. So the more repetitive work I do, the better I get at it. The faster I get at it. The more less concerns I have about, you know, did I draw it correctly? Did I did I do the movement correct? Did I not forget a coloring? Like for instance that. And then I will say to myself, no. Or yes. Or maybe. It depends. Situational. So yeah, it all depends on what it all depends on, you know, what I need to do. And for now, it looks like I'm just need to do my repetitive work. And I don't mind. I'm a happy person, you know? It really, it really brings me joy to just see how well my drawing gets and how far I really get at it, because that makes me want to continue working on it. Because I want to always perfect myself in every single thing. Of course, I need to hold myself back sometimes because you know it's a thing that that, that sometimes happens. I need to hold myself back to get better at my problem. Well. I need to get I need to hold myself back otherwise I will you know overexhaust myself because I'm doing way too much work. So how to fix that is just you know doing bits by bits and I keep the motivation until the end. You know? That's way better than um uh, than you know uh it's way better than destroying your damn rhythm because you just want to do this and then three hours later you're exhausted and then the next day you won't be able to do things because you're exhausted and the next day you won't have the motivation to do it and then you're exhausted 
So because I'm working like one hour a day, uh, one hour a day on it, I might not see much, but it's better to work one hour a day on it than two hours a week. Because you're too tired, oh well, four, five, uh, ten hours a week, and then you know you're too tired on doing it for next week because you overexhausted yourself and therefore you will not be able to make it. So yeah, I'm trying to do my very best upon getting what I need to do. Uh, I'm I'm trying to do my very best upon getting what I how far I already get. I'm trying to do my very best upon doing more stuff. I'm trying to do my very best upon producing more stuff and you know I'm just taking the baby steps. Why do I take the easy route? Well I can do the hard mo hardcore mode? No, just easy. I live a easy I like to live an easy life and I like to keep my I like to keep my I like to keep my thoughts clear. I like to keep everything, you know, to myself. I like to make sure that everything that I do is you know done correctly or oh, well dot well done so you wanna bake an egg just do it easy there is no need to do a fancy little ba uh, pancake flip you know even though you never have done it you want to do it no don't do it it will ruin the egg also you want to rush your egg, cooking it, and then scramble it because you know you don't want to waste. You don't want to want time. You want, don't want to. Uh, uh, you don't want to wait for you know your egg to uh, to fully cook. Uh, fully cook in the pan. Nope. Don't do it. Just take your step. Take your take your time. Take your steps, and then you know when you're ready to uh, when you're ready to advance, then take the adv uh, advancement. It's like me, you know, I'm working on this like one hour a day and I'm doing great. The main idea of being doing great is that I'm doing it and I'm doing great because I'm working on this coloring like I'm working on a project. Normally when you have a project you need to work with you know your partner or working with your brain, working with whatever whatever you have to get to the right result. I am working right now with my brain to get the right result. The only way to con the only way to get to the right result is actually working together. And mm, because my brain is very very fa very fast tired, I cannot do that when I want to rush it. I cannot focus for 3 hours unless I want to get over exhausted and that means that I won't be able to do things tomorrow. Which is not a good idea, especially when you want to just work on a time, work on your project, and then you want to continue working on your project the next day. You're tired. You won't. You won't be able to re recall all the, all the things. You won't be recall. You won't be able to get the um, right amount of spirit to you know do the things you want. The creativity is lost. You know. All those things can really ruin an artwork. Because you don't have your creativity, it means that you're going to be using solutions that already have been used. Therefore, uh, most of the art that's going to be looking is maybe going to be looking out of proportion because you lost your focus. And because you lost your focus, you know, you need to do a lot of reworking or you end up with a project that doesn't look quite nice. The out of proportions really ruin a project. And I'll tell you that, if it ruins a project, you're gonna be really in a bad time. Because, you know, people expected you, uh, people expected quality. Because, you know, they are used to the quality that they have been given. And because they were expecting quality, and you're not gonna deliver on that, people, you're gonna let people down. That this will cause a lot of problems to occur, like, you know, people having a bad opinion upon you because you know you let them down they trusted you you were the one that's supposed to you know make this and you did not make it like you said you would of course you know this can all be this can all be done of course this can all be you know if uh, this can all all be you know uh, removed if you're just taking your time and just doing things by the book step by step 
Why? Because it will cause less problems, it will cause less rush up your, uh, objects, and it maybe takes a long, it maybe takes a lot more time, but you will get a better result after that. Which means that people are going to be liking it pretty much guaranteed. I must say myself, people really like people really like drawings that you know are well done. And trust me upon this, it's true. If a, if a, if a, if an artwork is well done, you know, if it is cooked in the right condition, if it is nicely made with a gold with a golden uh, with a golden crown on top of it, I would say that is a fine art piece. You can see the difference between good and bad art. Trust me. It's not that hard. Just you need to look at it. You just need to have the feeling, the knowledge, what makes good art. The problem is that knowledge can be, you know, can be given really quickly. Also, you know, not everybody has the same vision of good art. Not everybody has the same vision upon art. Which can then, you know, cause problems. But everybody can agree that, you know, I would say, I think people can agree upon it at least, that if you rush your thing that you wanted to do, like, you know, a project with your friends because you want to know how high an apple can fall off a tree, and the teacher is going to say, you're going to need to do this in Paris, and you did it in Paris, but, you know, you forgot that you need to put your name on it, and that will cause you your, that will cause you a grade, you know. That's because you were rushing it. And because you were rushing your, uh, your project, you probably will have a, have a less of a great grade. So technically, then you would be saying that you have been downgraded, but uh, what's it? So yeah, don't ever rush it. If you have a project, just do your job with the project, and then you know expect other people to do your project. And if they don't do it, then make sure that you comp uh, not compromise, uh, not help. Yeah, help them, and then you know get everything fixed together. Fix fix the problem that has been caused by the project, and then fix it before you know the project ends. This way, you know, if I have a problem with my artwork, like for instance those white little dots that have been occurring sometimes. Oh hey, Baka, didn't see you there. Pearls of wisdom, with you? <laughs> didn't see you there. I was way too much concentrated. Also the lamp, the lamp stood in the way. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I was uh, I was busy. Oh yeah, wait, where was I? Ah yeah, ah, projects. Yes. So because I had these little dot, white dots in my in my coloring because I apparently used a different color while drawing sometimes because I thought that was the erase button apparently somehow it caused my it caused my it caused my drawing to look ugly so I had to remove that. If I would not have removed it, you would have seen it in the end result. And because you would have seen it in the end result, it would not never be great. That's the wording. Yeah, that's 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 how I should that's how I should say it. Yeah. I think that's a good thing. I think that's a great great thing to say like that. Anyway, um Oh look at that. It's forty minutes in. Oh my. And I have been speaking non stop. Well, that's, uh, that's lovely. That's a lovely wise wisdom choke right there. Ah, I really should, I really should start making another recording of, of the big, bo of the big boys. Yeah, I should. Anyway, uh, also, I should then also make sure that I do a recording of the outlines, because, you know, I really want to share you guys how far I already ha am with the outlines. It's not much, it's not far, but eh, it's getting somewhere, eventually. You know, I just need to do everything and then buy the book and then get there. <laughs> Doesn't seem... <laughs> well, I'm the one who sort of sneak up <laughs> and look you over the shoulder for five minutes to make a per make the person jump at the result of a tree price. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
yep, yeah, that's uh, that's how you that that's how you startle someone. Definitely, <laughs> it's like what you doing, and it's like, hey, what the? How did you get in my house? <laughs> Uh, that's 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 the great fun. That's the great fun. Like, how did you get in your house? I mean, hello. <laughs> uh. I'm trying to do it now. I'm trying to, you know, get towards the end of this thing. But oh my god, it's so much work. It's so many bloody damn. Feathers, and I'm gonna be doing all of them. But I don't care. I don't. I don't really care. I care about that this artwork is gonna be looking great. So I should not complain about how damn hard it is sometimes to color these things in. But you know, determination br uh, gets you far. But easy tasks, oh man, those get you way far. Have you ever noticed when you're doing an easy mode, you know, on a game? You you get really far, really fast, and you get like, oh my god, well done, you did it. And then you play Dark Souls, and then you realize like, oh shh, you little bastard, you just stabbed me in the back. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's how that's how that's how that's how I work. Like, I rather want to do things on easy mode. I don't because you know, I kind of forgot where I was at the start of every single time. So this is way more. Uh, this is way more coordinated. This is way easier, you know. If you see a red button and that says "Don't press it," you know, and it says exactly why you should not press it, and then you don't press it because you know you know exactly what you're doing. That's way easier than seeing a red button and you don't know what it does, and then you press it and then the whole world explodes. Yeah, that's not a very smart move. I will say myself, it's not a very smart move to not to see what the button does. So yeah, having a manual why the button does this or that. Oh, did I break? I broke. God damn it, I broke. Oh boy. Oh, I'm gonna be saving here. There you go. Save it. Save it, save it, save it, save it, save it. There you go. You saved? Ah, now we're friends. Now we're friends. Good. We're friends now. Yep. Mm hmm. Alright. Well, that means that I need to close this and then restart it. Alright, well, fine. Uh, be right back. Be it. <sighs> Always nice to happen, you know, when uh, your your system crashes because you don't. because you were doing too much work. <laughs> It's even better when, <laughs> when there is a person on the other side who just looks at you and says nothing. <laughs> really, is it, really is motivational Monday with you, isn't it? Yeah, it's motivational Monday, and it's Monday. That's why my that's why my thing crashed. Definitely not because I was doing way too much movement in one go. Definitely not. Also, did you know that my uh, CPU uh, general processing system? is already 11 years old. That means that this thing doesn't like to do lots of tasks. So yeah, you, you already get where I'm going with this. So yeah, I need to really, really... Oh, look at that. The, the circle is back. Oh my god, the circle. So yeah. It's it's very funny that the uh, that the circle actually does this, you know. the That because of all the problems that I cause, you know, I cause this because of my because my general pro, because my general processor is not is not very is very old it doesn't like to do a lot of things so I did it this week or yet yeah, the week after that it's already really really getting on my nerves that you know my general processor is dead like a doornail it's like I cannot play new games no so yeah, I need to get a new uh I need to get a new one. But because of the lockdown I can't and that's why we're now stuck. But the good news is I'm not stuck with playing games. Trust me up on that. <laughs> I have a lot of games. I didn't know that. That's fascinating information. <laughs> that's very informative information. 
You should really read a book, make a book about it. Yeah, I should. I definitely, I should definitely should. Also, um, the most, the most funny thing is actually that the, uh, that writing and you know drawing, all of these things, you know, they're really helping me getting through these days. It's just so much fun, you know, when you're just doing whatever you wanted to do in the first place and just get things done. If I draw, it's fun. If I write, it's fun. If I play games, I am having fun. I am having a blast. Why shouldn't I have a blast when playing video games? That's why I'm playing video games. I like to play video games because I really like them. And also because I really want to do some stupid shit in them. Like, uh, like you know, building a house and then burning it, burning it to the ground. You know, that kind of stuff. It's really fun. <laughs> it's be the best of best, uh, best sellers. Yep, it will. The book, the book of how to be motivated by Johan. Yes, by me. How do you get motivated? Well, think positive. That's the first thing. If things beat you down, you will come back stronger. Always remember that. There is no, not such a thing as failure. There is only learning. Because, you know, if you fail, you learn. You learn something that, that you didn't learn before. Why did you fail? That's the first thing that you need to investigate. It's like playing a little investigator, playing this little investigator game like, you, what did you do to do it today wrong? And then it's like, oh, so that's what I did wrong. I ring the bell of the neighbor. And that's why the dog barked. I see. If I want to make sure that the neighbor is getting out of his bed, I should ring the bell more often, you know? Because the dog will bark more. <laughs> I thought weeps were better better fuel than houses. <laughs> the fuel of weeps in the morning. Ah, <sighs> yes. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, as I said before, there is no such thing as a failure. You you always will find out. Like you know, if you want to find out why you know your PC why your PC is crashing, I love to find out why my PC is always crashing, because then I figure out how to fix it, and I now know why it's playing so slow on some some games. Somehow I forgot to update my CPU. What are the odds? I never knew that that thing was actually important. I always thought it was dead meat. Well, apparently it was not. Apparently it's one of the most important things you can have. Huh. So yeah, I was bamboozled. And now, I pay for it. Because I know it too late. Well, too bad. What are you gonna do with it now? Well, I'm just gonna be waiting. It's not like I'm in a rush or something. It's not like I need to, g need to go for, like, you know, Playing the newest of the newest FIFA. Nah, I'm not a fan of FIFA at all. I never liked football anyway. <laughs> with all the nonsense going on with that game, oh damn, don't get me started on that one. It's insanity to the max, I'll tell you that. So, since that we're doing, you know, uh, talking, apparently, looks like it, I'm getting way, way too motivated and way too happy, so that's good. It means that my motivations are through the roof right now. So, Yoan is not in a rush? Well, I never. <laughs> it is like a beautiful romance, that's true. <laughs> All the salt. Hmm. The salt in my eyes when I realized that I played a, a, when I was the troll all along in the video game that I played. <laughs> uh, those mobile games never get old. Playing a MOBA game and then, you know, playing this ridiculous combination of combos. And then everybody's complaining like, this doesn't work, why are you doing it? And then beat the living shit out of them. Like, ah, I'm beating you with it. What? How? <laughs> this is impossible. And then you can you can chug those sweet, sweet tears, bake, bake some salt pie, you know. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that's that's uh, that's the right way to do things. Ah, it's so lovely. I I remember that I made I made such bolts like back in the day when I wanted to play one up wanted to play like League of Legends or Dota 2. It's like I want to play a hero, but I don't want to play the hero regularly. 
That's no fun. So yeah, I made these stupid combinations of combos. And some of the combos were actually insane. I made once a combo where I could just one hit one hit everybody. That was a really fun combo. Just one hitting people. You know how easy that is? <laughs> just going into someone's face and say hello. And uh, the funny thing was actually you could not die while doing it. So everybody's like, ah, run from him. He's a maniac. So yeah, it uh, it is actually quite funny to uh, you know play such play 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 such games where you are actually quite you know doing the wrong way, and even though it's the wrong way, you're still beating the living shit out of people. It's awesome. Ah, <laughs> salt pie. No, <laughs> please no. Ah, yes. The salt pie. Mm. Ugh. I remember one day that I had actually drink salt water. Ugh, that's horrible. Trust me. I had once I was swimming in the sea and I accidentally drank some water that was in my mouth and was like, Ugh. Ugh. Salt water is not drinkable at all. It's actually quite highly dangerous, but it's also not drinkable at all. It doesn't taste good. It tastes like salt. I also had once I had salty spaghetti, so I am not a great cook on that on those parts. Never let me cook spaghetti. It's uh, it always has a backside. I rather prefer rice than uh, spaghetti in most cases. I'm not the best at cooking, but at least I get spa at least I get rice correct. Anyway. Uh. There you go. So yes, uh, let's see. So today was a great day. So how far did we got today? Well, let's see how far we got today at least. That's great to know. And it's all upset. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, pressing five. So this is how far we got today. If we want to truly see everything, we can do that. Hold on. So today we got this. Uh, oh wait, yes, this this needs to be on because I still have the color. And then boom, boom. Hmm. Oh, yes, yes. So. Today we actually got far. We have now two of the three almost fully complete. Uh, of we have almost three of the two completed fully, and we can actually finish it off. I don't want to leave this little little piece here uncontested. It's like no, I cannot live with myself not finishing this one off. Why? Um, don't ask why. I just don't like seeing this little little dot right here. Right now, it's too it's too good to be not finished. Of course, I'm not gonna do it this in a rush. I'm just following the strokes, guiding my pencil towards it, and coloring it in by the pencil. So that's how you do it. So follow the strokes, slowly getting there. Make sure that you don't overextend. And then boosh, bada boom, bada bing, you're done. It's not that hard. It's a little bit hard. Hey, most of the students don't even know you have to put water on rice. So you're doing. <laughs> what? They don't even know that they, you need to put water on rice? Oh god. All the stick, all the, all the burnt rice. No. That's uh that's horrible. You know what you actually could do, by the way, is first, you know, cook the rice and then bake it later. That way you have this crispy rice and then uh combine it with some bacon or ooh ba no not combine it yeah, ba bacon is the right word, right? Yes, it's the right word, it's bacon. Spec bacon. Right, wait, hold on. I just need to know if it's the word. What the what is the word for spec? Sp, 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 s
spawn spec. It's very important. It's normally called fat, so yes. Spark A B C D E F G H I J K H L D K. Oh wait, it's A. Yes. Sp Span spar sport spec bacon yes pork yes it's the real word nice I did it correctly it's bacon seriously going to the union and re re uni and realizing that how parents let their chi children go to the union with uh, zero cooking skills oh god oh god zero cooking skills hmm. Disaster will strike in ten, nine, eight. <laughs> yeah, cooking skills are required when you want to live on yourself. Trust me, it's very important. So yeah, bacon it is the word. All right. Um, I totally forgot to do this on full screen. So all your horses, I'm saving. Can I save? Yes, save. Good, good. It's already seven point. It's already three point seven gigabytes. What the hell? This thing is getting big. Oh well, you know. Oh, it's okay. You can stop. <laughs> so yeah, behold, behold. There you go. Awesome. So today we fixed the the full the full link over here. It's only two to go, and then we can finally start on making the basics of. Uh, the wing. So we're gonna make a basic wing again. So we're gonna make a basic one, and then you know, so basic color first, and then do the uh, other thing. So first we're gonna be finishing off this part. Then we're gonna lighting. Uh, we're, then we're gonna put some lighting on the feathers, and then after that we're gonna be uh, doing the middle section again. So I hope you all enjoyed for today, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Until then. I wish you all a great day and uh, bye.